Hi, I'm Mike Pagani, Senior Director of Product Marketing for End Computing, and I thought it'd be nice to show you what we got going on here in our booth at Citrix's Synergy Barcelona show here in 2012. Uh, kind of an update to uh, what we did in May back in San Francisco. Uh, this is our main theater area here. We've had sessions going every day. Uh, we've had a lot of people, a big audience, seems to be a lot of interest in the end series. Uh, we've been discussing various topics here, customer success, uh, some of the differences between the models, things like that, what the difference is with our system on chip versus others. Uh, one of the interesting things is we've actually been uh, broadcasting live from here uh, using just an N-series. You'll notice there's no server. This is just a point-to-point -point broadcast uh, setup we've got here. And that's all courtesy of the system on chip technology in the N500, which is this unit right here. This webcam is attached to it. We're leveraging the H.264 codec um, support built right into the silicon and the firmware off our Numo 3 system on chip inside the box. Okay, so uh, those people who have been going to uh, ncomputing.com forward slash live have been watching us uh, do our thing here uh, for the last few days live over the internet. Um, let's take a walk down this way and I'll take you into the booth and show you some of the um, uh, demonstration pods that we've got set up. So what's different about uh, here versus San Francisco is now that we're fully out in the market with both the N400 and the N500 for the N-Series. And uh, we now have uh, vertical application type uh, use cases set up in our booth, which I'll show you. But first, I think it's helpful to take a little bit of an inside look at the, uh, the N-Series. So when you look at the inside here, if there's any way to pan in a little closer, um, I think it's kind of interesting to see what's not there. And what's not there is a, a whole bunch of components that you would see in other thin clients. Uh, the secret to our success is really the system on chip right here, the new Numo 3, our third generation system on chip, eliminates the need for a lot of uh, components that you'd see in other thin clients, keeps the units very cool, they take up uh, very little power at less than 5 watts, and we get a lot of our processing capability, especially for video streaming and some of the rich media off of this chip. Okay, so uh, I thought it'd be helpful to see what's, what's inside these units. So now, uh, this is what the N500 looks like fully, uh, fully enclosed. Uh, let's take a little walk around now and I'll show you um, how we would use these units in typical setups, okay? So looking here, we actually have two models in the N-Series line. We have the N400, which is our entry-level model. Uh, this model is really dedicated for task workers. So uh, with the N400, it uh, supports a single display. We'll do um, very high quality, high definition uh, video and rich media at uh, 720p uh, quality. Okay, perfect for call centers or anywhere you have high volume, uh, kiosk type applications, things like that. Let's move on down now and I'll show you uh, the N500. What's different about the N500 and the N400 is it has a couple of different options. You can add Wi-Fi to the N500, and the N500 also supports dual displays. So we have secondary display options. Here we have two displays set up. Um, very, very good for um, high-definition full-screen video. Um, I'm going to ask for a little bit of help here from one of our, uh, our, our uh, systems people. Hugo, can you do me a favor? Hugo is our uh, uh, lead SE in uh, MIA. Could we run some uh, full-screen video on this one just to see the, the capability and the quality? really quickly. Should have some media teed up here. Can we go full screen with that? There we go. So we just kind of wanted to show you the quality of the video, uh, the speed and the responsiveness of it. A lot of this is because we actually have uh, H.264 codec support in the silicon and the firmware in our actual uh, Numo 3 system on chip, uh, driving the quality of the video. Okay, so very full featured, very capable uh, HDX support right in on the, uh, on the chip. So these units are completely dedicated to Citrix HDX. They don't do other protocols, they're highly specialized for Citrix environments, and that's why they behave so well with the Citrix HDX technology. Okay, so that's, uh, I'm showing you the difference between task worker and knowledge worker. You'd see these things uh, typically with two displays. A lot of people have two display applications uh, in finance, in uh, stock brokerage, real estate, uh, anywhere where you need a dual display. Let's come on down to uh, the next use case. What we've got now is the N500 being used in this particular case uh, as a point of sale uh, retail terminal. So we've got a, being in Barcelona, the food's great, as we all know, so we have a little uh, uh, menu system here. You could be at a restaurant or at a grocery store. You go to check out, and we, we're showing the power of uh, the USB peripheral support uh, off of our N-Series. USB connected printer, we have barcode scanner. So taking the N-Series and putting it into um, a very real life use of the uh, technology. Okay, so we'll move on down to some of the other use cases in the booth. So coming around here, 
perhaps we can do the uh, improvata. So uh, one of the nice things about we're seeing now uh, with all of the, uh, the traction that we're getting in the market is we're having partnerships with other companies that have technology that can take advantage of the N-Series. What we've got here is typical healthcare clinical workflow. Uh, we're partnered with Improvata to do single sign-on with a proximity badge card. Okay, so Hugo just tapped on the reader. Now this is initiating a virtual desktop session based on his credentials in the card. No typing, no anything. And it's our, our partnership with Improvata to get this done with the single sign-on. So Hugo's going to start a session here, and now he's going to move over. So he could be a doctor going from one exam room to the next exam room, and he's going to he started there. Now you're going to see him pick up that same session. It's going to, the session's going to follow him. And this is all accomplished through our, uh, our partnership with Improvata for the uh, single sign-on credentials. So by virtue of the Improvata software, we're getting Hugo's credentials here. It's identifying who he is. And notice the session moved from that terminal to this terminal. So therefore, doctors, nurses, technicians, as they move through the hospital with their badge, the session follows them. Okay. Also, yeah. they can easily close the session just by tapping. Yes, when they're done with their work, they can close the session so the next person comes up. The other thing is, if somebody comes in and they're still open, they can tap over it. So this is a common use case called typically tap in, tap out, and tap over functionality. So now we're starting to see the N-Series uh, make its way into partnered solutions like this for particular vertic verticals and use cases. Okay, so let's move on down and we'll show you another application for the N-Series. Okay, so this is a fun little demonstration we've got here. Um, we're simulating sort of real-time uh, audio and video connection with a webcam to another location in our booth. And uh, obviously, we're not in this business. You know, Citrix makes great products like GoToMeeting for this type of thing. But it's something we've put together to show the power of what's in the N-Series. We've actually got the H.264 codec built right into the firmware and the silicon, which is helping us drive that quality image and get the speeds and feeds that we do. Where did Hugo go? Where's Hugo? Let's see. I think, ah, there he is, see? He went around the other side of the booth so we could see him. Maybe wave to us, Hugo, you can see the speed and performance. Works extremely well. One of the things that tends to be a bit of a challenge when you have a virtual desktop, um, and in this particular case, we're running Zen App in conjunction with our N400, uh, we're, tr we're doing local printing here. Uh, network printing is always easy, but when you try and use a local printer, at times it can be difficult with virtual desktops. And if you want to bring around here, we'll show you this particular printer is connected using one of the four USBs that are in uh, the N-Series, okay? So we've got a session up. You want to print something really quickly? Um, so anyway, this is something that we've heard a lot from users saying uh, it's great, but do you support local printing with ZenApp? And uh, that's why what we're doing here at the show at Synergy here in Barcelona, as opposed to San Francisco, we just showed the devices. Uh, this time we're showing the devices in very typical, everyday um, use cases. Okay, so we're going to print our, uh, our N-Series data sheet here off of the N-Series. And Hugo's going to go, there, he just pressed print, so now we'll see the response and we'll get, uh, get the print out. But as you can see, it works really, really well. One of the issues we hear within clients, if you want to get a lot of tech support calls, local printing with ZenApp sometimes can be an issue, or just local printing in general within clients. Well, we have a locally attached printer here, it works great, and um, we spent a lot of time to make sure that this is seamless for all our users. Music